Okay, guys, we are going to do some angle work today. Um, a little bit of review, probably, but then also get into some of the things that I need you to learn for this lesson, for this week's geometry, and to be able to do yourself. Okay, so if you remember from the last week, or last week, last year, <laughs> um, when we talk about angles, um, we talk about two rays, and I'm going to go ahead and use these colored pencils um, for my rays. So right now, I got one ray, two rays, and these rays, arrows representing, or points representing the arrows, are going to connect at one point, right? So that point has a special name that we call the vertex. So if I was to draw a point right here, see that, you can see it if I do this, um, that's my vertex. So these two are going to join or meet at that vertex, right, and form an angle. So the angle is this part of the surface in here that is contained within these two rays joined by that vertex. All right, so you guys remember that. Now, uh, when we talk about the different types of angles, right, you guys, again, review. You'll remember that this one here, because it is a small angle, right, any time we start, we obviously this is not an angle because these two guys are on top of each other. But as soon as I open just a little bit, I've got an acute angle. Remember, we did this last year, acute, 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 and so on. We did it all the way until we got to here, right? And then you'll remember that's a right angle because it's 90 degrees, and we would draw a little box in here for our right angle. And then as soon as I kept opening, we would be obtuse, 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 and so on, all right? Now, if I abandon that vertex and I move my rays up into the paper a little bit, I can start to go, okay, I can open my acute angle to my right angle to my obtuse angle. But then it's, I can go all the way obtuse, 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 until the two rays, even though they still have this vertex in common, really are forming a straight line. And that's how we get the name straight angle from the 180 degrees that we are now open. All right. And then this is our one that we want to remember from now on, because everything has been reviewed from here on, from so far. But once, what do we call it when we get past our straight angle? So I've gone acute to right to obtuse to straight, and everything past straight all the way back to whole angle. All of this straight to whole is all reflex angle, right? Reflex angle is greater than 180, so greater than 180. This is my opening, right? So I would be indicating the angle by up here, greater than 180, less than 360. That's still reflex, all of this. this is my reflex angle greater than 180, less than 360, greater than a straight angle, less than a whole angle, even all the way to here. Or even if it looked like that, you might think, well, I see a right angle. That's true, but remember, we started here at opening this way. So that's all still a reflex angle. And it's still a reflex angle all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, even to there. That is still a reflex angle, all of that over there. Right? So if I asked you to draw a reflex angle and shade it, so you might draw that, 
right? And I might say, well, that's a right angle. But you could say, no, it's a reflex angle because I'm going to shade this part. And that's how I want to shade my reflex angle, by showing that I opened that big amount, right? As opposed to if I asked you to shade an acute angle, all you're going to do is shade in here. <laughs> Roly poly. That's why you're only using flat sticks because they don't roll away on you. So anyway, so that's the difference between shading a reflex angle going all the way around this way and shading any other angles where you just keep it inside. All right, so that's what a reflex angle is going to be that you need to know. Now the other thing that we want to review and then um, get you to practice is the naming of the angles. So for instance, if I wanted to name, let's stick with a reflex angle. I want to name a reflex angle so I can draw my angle. All right. Arrows for the rays because I know they keep going those directions. I'm going to get my vertex, right? And I'm going to label that vertex B. Okay. So I know there's a point there, but what you also want to remember is that a line or a ray or a line segment. Any of those are just a series of points stuck together really tight. So you can actually pick a point anywhere on here and just highlight it by drawing a dot. I could do it there, I could do it there, I could do it there. It doesn't really matter. I can do it anywhere because remember, that's what these rays are. They're just dots put together. So then I'm going to give those guys a letter. You probably could have guessed. I'm labeling them A and C. So now I have angle ABC. And again, if I'm going to shade the reflex angle ABC, I'm doing this. That's shading the reflex angle ABC. Kind of silly to do it over the letter. Probably should have put the letter somewhere else since I knew I was doing a reflex angle, but what are you going to do? All right, now I can still see it. And then if I was told identify and name this angle, identify is a reflex angle. That's identify. Name is angle. Make sure you get that symbol in there. Remember the universal symbol for angle. It doesn't matter what this one looks like. I'm always going to draw that same symbol. And it's angle A, B, C. Or, because it doesn't matter, it's angle C, B, A. As long as the B, my vertex, is in the middle, I'm good. And they're all capital letters, by the way. Take, take note of that. So we've got our symbol for angle, and we got the three capital letters that make up our points on the angle. In this case, a reflex angle. All right. So it'll be on the card, but just as a reminder for what I write on your card, you're going to draw an acute angle, identify and name it. You're going to draw an 
right angle, identify, name it, obtuse angle, identify, name it, straight angle, identify, name it, reflex angle, identify, name it. All right, and all of them you're going to shade as well. So I know that you know what part of the whole you are actually making in terms of your angle. Okay, so that is the first part of your work. Those angles to draw and identify and name and after you are done with that and you turn it in and I make sure you know what you are doing we will move on to your second card and your second part of the work all right good luck let me know if you have any questions